Hi, I'm Ben Messenger for Waste Management World Magazine. We're here at the RWM show in Birmingham. I'm with Dr Jane Beasley of Beasley Associates. We've just conducted a survey regarding the recent UK waste review. Jane, I believe you've had some interesting results. Yeah, we have. Um, we conducted the survey over the summer. We contacted 172 of the leading key players within waste management across a wide range of different industry sectors. Um, and we got over 30% response rate to that survey. And we basically were asking questions in terms of people's views and opinions and their confidence in the waste review. And what were the main findings of the... Um, well, essentially, the biggest problem that was found within the review was a real lack of confidence um, in what the review would put across. Um, over 80% felt that the review really was very negative in terms of its ambition. It was either had no ambition or very little ambition. Um, also, there was a real lack of confidence in terms of what the review could achieve and whether that review could be built upon to produce the waste management plan in 2012. And were there any positives to come out of it? We did ask everybody uh, if they could identify it to three issues that they felt had been reasonably addressed within the review. Um, unfortunately, almost 30% declined to answer that question because they didn't think that any comments had been very well addressed. However, there was support for the fact that lats had been abolished, although it was pointed out that this was no surprise, it was something that had been expected to come out of the review. And there was also support for the fact that the waste hierarchy in terms of waste prevention was being pushed to the forefront. And I believe you also asked how people felt it would impact their jobs, and you had a generally negative response to this? We did, we did. Um, about 70% responded that they felt it would impact upon their jobs in a very, very negative way um, in terms of making their jobs harder to do. Those who work in the public sector felt it was going to be more difficult to get commitment towards funding um, because of the lack of targets. That The absence of targets actually came out as one of the biggest problems within the review. And there was real dismay. It wasn't just recycling targets. It was targets actually attached to waste prevention, CNI waste, and an improvement with guard packaging. Um, so there were some real kind of concerns that actually people's jobs were being made harder. And also those who were involved within the private sector felt that it was going to be more difficult for their funding to, to come through for the development of infrastructure and so on. And more time was going to have to be taken up on lobbying work and campaigning work to try and drive things forward. And how about the reliance on voluntary schemes? Was there any uh, comment or feedback regarding that? Yeah, um, it was very kind of negative in terms of the fact that the review came forward and actually had no teeth, it had no substance. So whilst people perhaps were supportive on some of the issues, there was nothing to deliver them. So it was seen as a lot of good rhetoric and a lot of good ideas, but no action, no deliverables, no kind of tea to take things forward. Um, and that's why there was a lot of cynicism behind lots of the comments that said basically good ideas, but nothing to make any of it happen. And is there any feeling that the government has the potential to rectify any of these issues? There was a strong feeling that they need to readdress the issue of targets, definitely, and don't rely on voluntary agreements and, um, and that sort of tool. There's too much reliance on the landfill tax to try and make change happen. Um, so the government needs to perhaps rethink where it stands on the whole idea of targets because there was concern that we were going to get left behind, the devolved administrations were going to shoot forward and there was going to be more apathy surrounding any real push or any real drive to increase recycling and prevention work. Jane, that's fascinating. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you.